Thomas Earl Russell was last seen at his home June 8, 2022. Roommates stated that when they went to bed that night, Thomas was in his room. The following morning, he was gone. He was last known to be driving a 2014 Honda CRV. This is Exploring with the Nug. My name is Jeremy, and today we are in Greenville, North Carolina, to search for a missing 42-year-old man who vanished in the middle of the night. Before we get started, let me tell you about today's sponsor for this video, the Insta360. They are the premier in 360 video cameras. And instead of just going on and on with the usual commercials about how amazing these cameras are and what they can do for you and you should go buy one, I'm going to film the entire video today with my new Insta360 One X3. So at the end of the video, you guys tell me what you think about the quality, about the cool shots, about the 360 footage that I get, and then you be the judge. And if you're curious, Curious about getting you one I will put some links in the description down below and uh, go check them out for yourself you guys be the judge tell me what you think about this video after we're done so I got Adam Brown adventures with me as always and uh, so the gist of this story is this like he, he went home he went to bed his roommates saw him go to bed the next morning they woke up he wasn't there yeah. and that was it he was supposed to go I think I think the story goes he was supposed to go help somebody move or he's moving into a new house and he just vanished in thin air and now uh, I, I couldn't find much more information online about this, but I did notice that there is a giant river right. in the city. So why not we just put our the skills to the test? Tar, see tar River, right? Yeah. See if we can find. See if we can find something out here. I mean, it's definitely big enough. I bet it's deep enough. I bet it's deep enough. It looks like. It looks like if we do find a vehicle out here, I mean, it's not going to be deep, too deep, but like it'll be a good, maybe easy day. Um, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of vehicles out here. No, it's it's definitely, I don't know, I, I'm feeling pretty good about today. And it's a nice day, it's cleared up, so uh, let's get the boat in the water and uh, let's start searching. Good. So I'm running the Garmin set up right now. He's got the Humminbird set up right now. So, uh, you know, two, two different sonars. So hopefully if I miss something, he'll pick it up and, if, and vice versa, if he sees something, uh, I'll pick it up. That's kind of why we're doing it and uh, no other good reason behind this. Hi, how are you feeling about today? I'm optimistic because this does seem like a very easy access point, this river, because it goes straight down the town. There's obviously other bodies of water, small ponds, but we need to clear this first. Yeah, Let's I think this would be the most obvious spot, but... Uh... And it's a small river. Yeah, it's pretty small. I don't think that we'd miss anything, but man, it's getting deeper right here. It's just deep enough, at least so far, to have a car, so. It's just now getting to the point where, like, it, there could be a car jump up on the screen. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. So this is what we're looking at right now. I mean, it's, it was f six feet, but now it's getting back down to five feet. But, I mean, we're at the borderline. If there was a car, they could be here, but, I mean, it'd be really shallow. But, like, there's a big mess right there of stuff. I think that's just a big bunch of rocks. Probably a tree, lots of mud and sand, and it goes really shallow, really fast that way. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just keep on scanning, and hopefully we'll come across something, yep. and uh, be be really nice if we can find him. I mean, he ain't been missing that long, so be nice for the family to actually get some closure on this one because they they still hoping and praying he's alive. So that's the ultimate goal, you know. Is we don't find him, but at least there'll be places we can clear that like. Now the family, like, well, he's not in the river. Yeah. I mean, there's, to my knowledge, there's two boat ramps. One we just going to put in, and then there's one a ways down. So we're just going to clear this stretch and then go up the river and then go from there, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we are literally like maybe a half mile down, maybe a mile, I don't know, from the boat ramp we just put in. We came across something, and it, it, does, it looks man-made, 
but I'll let you guys be the judge. We'll go over here again. We're trying to get a good angle on it, and the, the sun glare is not helping, I know, but like, depending on, like, it's right there, like, it's definitely throwing, it's got a rectangle to it. I just, I can't. It's like a pile. It's a rectangular pile, though. Go right over top of it. See if you can get the down, your down, down imaging, what it looks like. I didn't even see it. It looks it looks good going this way, but when we start doing this angle, it's just like there's something there, but it just I don't know what it is. We can drop a magnet on it and see if it's metal. Sure it is. What else could it be? Maybe a boat dock or something? Well we haven't gone right over it yet. We've still been off to the side a good 10, 15 feet. Like I think we just went we went over okay, there's I don't know. That picture doesn't do it any justice for me at least. So there's this on the right of us. That looks like a vehicle, but it looks like that looks like a truck without a bed on it. Frame. Now you see like the cab, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then the rear looks like just there's no bed on this on a truck. Weird. I did start to have a down in the shot. But... Yeah, that shot right there looks it looks just like a truck without a bed on it. Never seems to amaze me. It's like this truck's it's a weird spot. How the heck would it have gotten here? Just launch it off of that somehow. Yeah. And how old is it? So there it is on the left now. Yeah, I don't know. That one image we just had makes me think it's a vehicle without a missing the bed on it. It's like what's left of an old truck. Yeah. If I had to guess, which I'm never really good at guessing these vehicles, it definitely doesn't look like a Honda CRV. No, well, we went right over it, kinda. Kinda looks like yeah, a truck without the bed. I mean, you can see the, like the the wheels, the this looks like a pile frame. Like might just be a might be a really old truck. We might have to look in. Yeah, I think it's a really really old truck. See if there's any other cases in this town like missing, like old cases. You never know. I don't know. Let's keep going down though and see if there's anything else. All right. So let me see. Been on the river about an hour or so. Uh, we ended up zipping down to this next bridge behind me in boat ramp. Uh, there's nothing really in between these two except swamp. There's a couple spots I want to check on the way back though. That like there, there is access points, but we want to get down here and check the obvious spots first, and then we'll backtrack, check some spots, and then we'll get all the way to the other side of town. But right now, this river is actually really shallow, shallow, shallow. But there are some. Um, pockets that could hold a car but most of it's four or five feet but i've seen it get up to eight nine feet so far so we'll scan under this bridge and get the boat ramp covered really good and see what we can find all right we made it to the second boat ramp and uh this boat ramp is kind of tucked off to the side off the river but it's also pretty darn deep uh compared to what we're looking at so fingers crossed is that right there there's something ah, something long down imaging looks like a looks like a tree. giant tree to me. It fell. But yeah, we're like 10 feet, 11 feet. Could could be hiding something in these waters. 11 feet. Neat. Oh, I rhymed. Turn the brightness up a little bit. All this stuff you're seeing right here, that's actually the you know the boat dock right there. So. That's what that is, but even still, you can the sonar will shoot underneath it, and you can see that there's there's nothing there. Unfortunately, I see all these lines. That's the boat ramp. All the rocks that they stack up around it. Pretty bright right now. I could lower that down a little bit. Yeah, definitely deep enough, but no cars right here. So we've made it past where we parked. And we've been scanning this whole way, been checking all these bridges out. And uh, there are some deep spots, like right now we're looking, it's almost almost seven feet. But uh, there, I'm not seeing any. There's lots of trees, and lots of, it's very messy underneath these bridges. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. Once again, I'm, we've been out here for hours and hours and we found nothing. Well, we cleared. We did we clear cleared the river. the main waterway. Now it's like pond hopping, which there is a few. There's a public park we're gonna go check out. So apparently, what'd you say? He was there's a road that he was last seen traveling on. Two sixty four alternate. And 
So I guess we're gonna go to that road. You there's keep a going up. There's like, you hit a, there's a little park. Oh. We're gonna right. go to this park, and apparently maybe, there's a. Maybe you went to the park. I don't know. I don't know. We'll go look. See, it's like 14 feet right here. Honestly, a park would have came off. Of... Well, actually, this is off. Of... It'd be pretty crazy if like. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Just lift. But the search continues. It's like 60, 17 feet right here. Heck, man, it's messy right there. Man, look at those trees. So you can't see much right here, but underwater, it's like a forest. That's cool. I think this area is cleared. So I think this river is pretty much done. So now we're gonna go do some pond hopping while we got some time left in the day. See what we can find. All right, we just got to our second location. Now, this is a great spot to dump a car. It's like this, I don't even know what it is. It's like just a weird canal looking body of water, but it's like alongside a park. It'd be a great spot to dump a car. So I think we're definitely gonna put the boat in here real quick, scan this body of water. Place to slide the boat in? Right here could work. It's still gonna be a pain, but it's clear right there, which also makes me, well, I was looking for a spot like that a car would've went in, because four months ago, right. there'd still be broken branches and stuff. Like this spot, I mean, look, compared to everything else, it's it it could be, it very well could be. I think it's definitely worth look, checking. Other side, but this is more accessible. It's not really road by the other one. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, well, we can go take a look after this. But I think we should definitely do this one. There's two big ponds back there, but it's. I don't think it's deep enough, and it's like... It looks like they closed this off at night, too. And if he disappeared at night, you know, I don't know if he would have made it into the park versus these bodies of water. Let's put the boat in here real quick and just take a look. Okay. Bye. <laughs> that was fun. We got the boat down here in this weird looking canal thingy. Got this garment started up and then we'll uh we'll look around. It'd be pretty easy to clear this. Let's take one or two passes. Added benefit. Soccer balls everywhere. <laughs> you broke your motor? Right now it's four, but when we first started it was like eight feet. Oh really? Yeah. Well it's shallow yeah, right it's here, so but clear. It's crystal clear. Alright, so I can stay in the middle. We should be able to see this whole thing, right? Yep. Clean as can be. At the end of it, we knew it was on the other side, but it's not as accessible. Darn. Darn, darn. It was a valiant effort. Definitely deep enough. Man, it's super clear, too. Kind of would have loved to dive this. <laughs> Never be that easy. No. What you got, beef? And goose wants smoke. Man. Domps, thorns, flip flops, not smart. They're not even Gucci flip flops. <laughs> so we've gotten to another location. This is a really large lake, and uh, it seems like a great spot to dump a vehicle. I don't know if there could be like a. I mean, I guess you could have a car accident crash here, but like this is more of a dump site. But check out this huge sign behind me. This entire lake is surrounded by these very well-made, probably expensive, do not trespass in this lake. Now, I would break the rules, but somebody spent a lot of money to make it clear they don't want anybody in these waters. So I want to err on the side of caution this time. But definitely this waters do need to be searched. So by all means, if somebody knows who owns this lake and recognizes these signs, give me a jingle. We'll come back, we'll check them out. Yeah, I might fly my drone though, just to look. You can fly your drone over it, and then you know, you might, it's clear enough and the sun's still out, you might be able to see something. And remember, this entire video was filmed by my One X3, the 360 camera I was telling you about at the beginning of the video. What do you guys think? Did it do the job? Did you like the footage? Was it horrible? You guys tell me in the comments below. And if you think it's awesome and you want to get one for yourself, go down to the links below, check them out. They're actually a really fun camera and you can do all kinds of creative things with them. Uh, you can film just like I'm doing, or you can create those interactive 360 videos where you can use your phone and look around or, or you scroll, all that cool stuff. There, there is no end to the creativity with these cameras, but by all means, check them out if you want to. If not, I'm glad you watched this video. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're not done searching for missing people. And until we meet again, my name is Jeremy. We'll see you guys on that next hunt. Woo!